Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I'm going to show you even more MCC challenges to complete. But before we get into the other challenges, I want to show you how to complete them uh, fast and easy. There's actually a few updates I want to show you guys on a couple of previous challenges I've showed in the last video, which if you haven't seen the first part, link will be down in the description. Now with all that being said, let's begin. So the first challenge I want to update on is the Halo 2 challenge where we play on Legendary and I used uh, the mission out, not Outskirts, uh, Uprising to complete multiple challenges. Now I'm sure some people are going to have trouble on Legendary and that's what I'm actually going to show you here because Legendary is, well, a different beast with Halo 2. So I'm just going to literally show my gameplay on how to get through this mission on Legendary. So yeah. I'm joking! Stop! 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 Anyways, those are the little tricks to get through the through that mission on Halo 2 on Legendary. They're, it's definitely uh, tricky, but yeah, just wanted to sh show you my failures too. That's why uh, just you know, not not perfect. I you, you do die there multiple times, but uh, yeah. Next. So a quick update on the car alarm challenge. If you watched my last video, you might have mentioned the unearth map in the firefight maps uh, pool of maps than Installation 04 that I showed in my last video. Well, as it turns out, the Unearth map, uh, I was able to find a, an easy strategy because I found out that there's a rocket hog on that map. Or should I say, I remembered there's a rocket hog on the map. So, what you're going to do first is go click on the map selection, hit Unearth, and then hit one of the uh, Firefight game types that you should have downloaded again in my original video. If you don't have the game type, again, just go to the link in the description for the first part of the video, and then you'll have to click another link for the Firefight game types that uh, you'll see on screen. And then hit on do the difficulty on normal, and then I will show you what to do next. Alright, so what you want to do once you spawned is, well, First of all, this map is really pretty. Uh, well, not really pretty since we're getting invaded. But anyways, what you want to do is come down here. Then this is the spot where we're actually going to part the rocket hog. But you'll find it right over here in this location. There's literally a spawn pad for it. Now what you want to do is take it and drive it over. Holy shit, these guys fucking hate me. But uh, yeah, right here. Literally, this is a spot, and you just start shooting. That, that's literally it. Unless the son of a bitch. I, I got this. But yeah, did you, this is uh, this is where you want to park. Grunts will literally spawn all around you, and oh, oh boy. Double oh. kill. Well, shit. But yeah, uh, basically, you want to take the rocket hog. That's where I parked it last time. If you're a lot quicker, you can get here without them throwing plasma grenades at you. And, uh... 
Yeah, th that's basically an update. Uh, um, like I said, grunts spawn all around you, so they'll eventually just swarm you, and the rocket, and you know, you don't have to drive around like an installation zero four, which is the problem with that map. You you have to drive around and switch seats and whatnot. But in this map, you can just sit in that one spot and shoot with the rocket hog. Uh, hopefully, before they start throwing plasma grenades at you. I I swear, I did it one time. Just they 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 blew up my hog. Okay. <laughs> All right. But that's a quick update on the on the uh, on the rocket hog on Earth map thing. Anyways, next. Now for a quick update on the firefight fodder challenge. Well, as you can see with MCC's latest update, there is now a matchmaking composer for firefight, which is cool. But however, unlike in my last video, uh, there is no firefight doubles, which is kind of which you know disappointing to. It, because that was like the thing that to complete that challenge easy and fast but since that doesn't exist anymore unless they bring it back uh what i've been doing is just uh halo 3 odst and just uh arcade fight firefight just because i mean i don't i'm not sure if i would recommend bland firefight just because it would be boring just using rockets all the time Whereas with, with Arcade Fight, you get to use whatever you want. And also, if you do know where the rockets spawn in the on the map, if you're able to pick them up, that would be helpful. If you're playing like Fiesta Firefight. And, uh, you know, I don't really recommend Reach because of the maps. They're kind of bigger. And even though you have armor abilities to make up for that, it's just like Hail 3 ODST is a lot smaller and the spawns are much more... Uh, predictable I guess but mainly just I think it's just, I think I choose Halo 3 ODST just because you 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 know we don't play it often and the the maps are a lot smaller but that's a, that's an update for the firefight fodder challenge so those were quick updates I wanted to give for the pre for a couple of previous challenges from my last video so now let's get into the new challenges starting with the hidden halo challenge so the hidden halo challenge requires you to pick up any terminal skulls or pretty much any of that stuff it, and any of the campaign missions. Now there's a variety of places <coughs> a variety of places to get them but here are a few that I'm going to show you here. So the first one I'm going to show you is go to Halo 3 uh, Sierra 117 um, start at the first checkpoint whatever then you want to hit the difficulty on normal and then uh, no skulls are required here. Uh, you you could turn these off. Um, just no skulls are required, and just go go on normal, and just literally just get into the mission. Okay, so starting off the mission, I'm going to show you where the skull is on this mission. If you don't know where it is, uh, most people who have been playing Halo for a long time now should know where it is. But if you don't, I will show you. So first, just walk forward. It's pretty linear. Just keep walking past the brute, past all these space monkeys. Just keep walking this way. We'll have these phantoms, just, just ignore them. Give a shit, we're not playing the campaign here, we're just trying to get the damn skull. And then here it is. You'll find it right here, and as you can see, it works. Well, that's one. So now the next goal to find is, well, pretty easy to find, still in Halo 3. It's literally the next mission. Hit Rat's Nest, beginning checkpoint, normal, it's okay. You don't need any other bullshit, and, you know, just start the mission. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Alright, so just skip the cutscene. Finding this is pretty easy. Just literally walk over here. Motion trackers? Down or we're not Come back here. Oh, this guy looks nice. Any of our birds squawking? No, man. Anyways, Overwatch just jump on here, on these racks, whatever. Jump on this. Jump on the pipe here. Any birds Walk like along. Out, bring them in. Tell and you'll find the easy skull. Aye, aye. That's two. Now on to our third skull. So again, still sticking with Halo 3. Click on the mission floodgate, and same shit, just start the game. Alright, so again, Spreading another easy city. challenge or skull to get. So, Floodgate, just walk forward. You should look we up here, and we'll the Flood, the the flood form over here should have a skull on his hand, so you gotta do is just shoot him. Make your way to the crash site. There. Over there. Surround it, 
Sergeant. Find the crashed flesh. Okay, so for some dumb, stupid reason, this this this, this took me like four tries, which has never occurred to me. But uh, this is what happens when you fucking succeed. There. <laughs> That's three. God. Of course, when I'm recording for YouTube, it it, it takes me multiple tries. Next. Alright, so the next easy skull to get, or, or actually, should I say, the next, uh, the next one we're gonna get is actually a terminal. So, hit the mission, the Covenant, uh, no bullshit, and start the game. Oh shit, I almost forgot. Actually, for the Covenant, this particular mission, you actually want to go to Rally Point Bravo. That, because the, the terminal is, is around, like, in the middle of the mission. When you're flying the uh, Hornets, or when you're about to fly the Hornets. So yeah, that's where you want to go. Anyways. Alright, so, still on Halo 3, it's like the Covenant Rally Point Bravo, that we have these Hornets here. They're going to spawn, or yeah, these pilots will give it to you. So just pilot, and just follow my route. You want to go in this middle tower where the two green phantoms are coming out of. That's the tower we're going to. So here you go, here's the second tower, just get off, don't listen to Arbiter. Just uh, come back here, find a bunch of dead deletes and jackals, and here's the terminal. Alright, now what you want to do, with, if you haven't really interacted with the Halo 3 terminal before, is just literally just wait here. They do nothing. And eventually something will happen. And there you go. That literally just click on the terminal, do nothing, and that happens. That's four. And some lore if you're into that. Next. Now for the final skull to get in Halo 3. Select the mission Halo. Start at Alpha. No BS. Start the game. Alright, so this is the last skull we're going to get. So it's very linear. Uh, people could actually miss this if you don't know the Halo 3 skulls, but this one is a uh, easy cheesy one. Just follow my route. Just enter this cave. Keep walking forward. Then over here, make a right. You'll find this little crevice. Keep going, and eventually, here's a skull. And that completes the Hidden Halo Challenge. So, yeah. GG. Alright, so the next challenge we're going, to ta uh, we're going to tackle is the 20 Grand Challenge. Now, I'm sure some people are probably going to get confused and flustered which mission to do and, you know, uh, how much score they're going to get. But here I'm going to show you. So, Halo 3, go to the mission Floodgate, um, put the scoring on. And then the skulls, you're going to want Catch, Famine, and Fog. Those are the only three skulls you'll need. Difficulty on Heroic, and then start the mission. Alright, so from here on out, I'm probably not going to commentate as much. You, you More likely, you want to watch my gameplay and uh, watch where I shoot and whatnot. At the very least, from my experience doing this challenge, you want to get at least 7,000 score. That's the minimum requirement. That's maybe between like seven to eight, 8,000 score. If you can get between seven and 8,000 score, you should get at least 20 grand by the end of the mission. And by the way, for those who aren't uh, experienced with the scoring and how it works with Halo, uh, you want to kill a lot of shit. Uh, Timing or like being fast is part of it, but it mostly killing things. So take your time and just kill things, and you should be able to get the challenge. So just follow my gameplay, and you should get the challenge. Oh, and one more thing before, or well, while this gameplay is going on, you can also complete the change of scenery challenge, which is basically just play a Halo 3 or Halo 4 mission and just complete it. And when it comes to that challenge, this is also a great mission to complete that. So, yeah, just want to let you guys know.
Oh, hey guys, this is Blazing from the future. Uh, by the way, in this particular section, you can see those, not those, uh, to, to your left here, those fusion coils you see at the bottom left, you can actually shoot those, and then after that, you can grenade jump over that, uh, the railing there. So, just a quick tip if you want to get through the mission faster. Hello again, this is Blazer from the future. I uh, want to let you guys know that those rocks that are on the right here, you can actually jump, o jump over those to the top ledge. Uh, just letting you guys know if you, if you guys are good with your jumps. Hello, Future Blazin here. Um, what I do here is actually a mistake. You do not want to take these stairs. What you should have done, or what you should do, is actually take the stairs to your left. Because as you can see, I took, to, uh, took the stairs to the right and I have to fight all this flood. If you take it to the left, you can simply just walk through the hole you'll see and you won't have to encounter these guys at all. Uh, that's more of a speedrunning tactic, but again, probably since we're killing things, maybe if you want more score, you could take the right stairs and kill all these guys. But, yeah. Chief, she's on that ship. Find her. Get her up. And that's the end of the mission. Uh, once you go down that hole, you're, you're pretty much done. And as you can see, 20 grand. So just do that twice and yeah, th that's the challenge. So that brings us to the end of the video. So if you enjoyed the video or if this uh, video helped you out even a little bit, a uh, like would be very much appreciated as it lets me know that I did a good job. And share this video around to help out anyone else who's uh, tackling these challenges. So anyways, that that's everything. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.